Like I said before, we're not going to go through all the styling with CSS for everything on this site, but I do want to show something fun, and that is in this last tutorial, we are going to um, employ a simple jQuery cycle for our images here in the main section. Now, in order to do this, first off, we need to get some images. So let's take a look at where we can get some images of. Now, we remember the first thing is about environmental brand, so maybe environmental nature images would work well. I like the Flickr website because you can find all sorts of great pictures here. And if we go ahead and search for nature, the problem is, is that we're going to find all sorts of images, some that we can use and some that we can't. So always go to advanced search and use Creative Commons only. Now we can find images that we like, and I like this image right there. So I'm going to click on that image, and I'm going to go click on it again and go to view all sizes. This will allow me to see the larger sizes that I can get access to. This image, the large one, is pretty much what I need. And one of the things we're going to do is we're going to use this great Pixlr.com editor um, in order to edit this photo. In order to do that, I can actually just copy the URL and go right to Pixlr and paste that URL in here. There it is up there. So I'll paste that in. It will grab the image for me. Now I can use the crop tool, which is the default tool right there, to kind of just grab the areas that I want and then you can double click on it or hit enter to crop it. Now, it's just cropping the left and right bars. Now I'm going to change the image size so it's the width that I want, 820 pixels. Now the next thing I want to do is um, change the canvas size so I cut down the middle part to just 300 pixels. If I go to canvas size, I can change this very easily and I can choose either the top middle or bottom part of that image to cut. Or I can also go back to the um, cropping tool and if I've made sure that this goes all the way to the edges over on the left right hand side you can see the height slider and, and as I'm sliding that cropping tool up you can see there it is 819 820 by 300. Sometimes you have to fiddle with it some. Now I can move that up and down and see exactly where that's going to be cut cropped. So that looks good to me. When I'm ready, go ahead and save that picture. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to save it as, well I've already saved it as the flowers.jpg. So I'll save over what's there and it will output that file for me. A great way to edit your photos without even having to go to something like Photoshop. The next thing that we're going to need is to load these photoshops in Photoshop, I'm sorry, in Dreamweaver. So let me go over to my code. Let me find out where those images are. And the images are in the div id equals main image. So let's go ahead and grab that image, which is just a placeholder at this point, and go ahead and, and uh, duplicate it a few times. Now the name thing, I have to admit, is really not needed. So I'll even just take that code out for right now not really required. Now what is required is the source and one of the things I love about using Dreamweaver is the fact that you can click and drag with the pick whip tool and point straight to files when you have made a site definition. So this is just such a great way of doing it. Of course we could totally type in here what we want images and leaf.jpg so we can easily do that as well. Whoops somehow that is the wrong height there <clears throat> somehow I did something wrong possibly and I have the wrong heights but I'm not gonna worry about it right now um, we should also give alt tags that make sense but once again I'm not worried about it right now here's my three images right there now you'll notice that these three images are kind of fitting you know right in a row and that's not how we're going to want our page for sure if we take a look at it this is what we've got so it's a good start but now what we need to do is we need to turn this into a cycle well jQuery is one of the things that allows us to do this pretty easily and if we go to, to jQuery.mouseup.com 
um, dot com. Um, they have the jQuery cycle plugin there, which I think is really, really excellent. This is a very easy one to do. And I'm going to go to the super basic demo and take a look at what we've got as a fading um, image gallery here. It's very simple, but it's going to work for our purposes. If we look at the code, the code is not too difficult. We have um, two jQuery um, plugins or two we have jQuery itself and then we have the cycle plugin that are both being loaded and they're being loaded from their um, GitHub sources and from the Google API's which means we don't even have to have the files locally which is great then we have this right here this script which is actually us um, enabling and running the jQuery it says um, run a script and let's wait until the document is ready and when the, it's ready run this function which is to use this particular class which is mentioned down there add the cycle plugin to it and use the fade FX to fade between the images that are children of that particular class so we're gonna actually copy and paste this script code all the way from include jQuery library down to right before the end of the head section and we're gonna put that into our code so I'll go to the code this goes right before the end of this the head section so there it is now the other thing that I'm gonna probably want to do is assign this to something other than um, the cycle right now although we could go ahead and put something in here div class equals cycle let's see is that what they call it slideshow that's what they call it slideshow class equals slideshow and then we need to wrap that around the other div here so let's make sure div id main image div id slideshow if we want to apply our source fa formatting, we can see that fit just a little bit better. I do kind of like when the images are uh, on their own lines, though. I think that makes it a little bit easier for us to read. There we go. There's our three slideshows. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and let's take a look at what happens when we watch this. There's our first image, our second image, and our third image. Couldn't be more simple, could it? So that concludes the end of all of these tutorials. Of course, there's lots of stuff that we can add with all of them, with um, doing more design work, doing more markup, doing more jQuery. But that's what uh, your job is. Go explore and see what you can do. Thanks for uh, watching these tutorials. Oh, yes. And I should mention, if you have any comments or suggestions of great HTML5 sources or, or resources, tutorials, please post them in the comments here on YouTube.